Hey guys, welcome back to Craft Central Station. We are so excited to bring you a new series. Today, we're gonna have a tat chat. So tat chats are just that, short videos where we address actually a lot of your concerns. Thanks for commenting, by the way. So we're gonna talk about specific parts of the crab tat and how to build it and what the best practices are for your hermit crabs. The first one we wanna talk about is the tank size because that's what you're gonna start with when you have a crab attack. So there are a few things that we really need to be thinking about when you want to choose your tank size. And for first and foremost, it's the amount of hermit crabs that you plan on caring for. So I know they seem really small right now, but hermit crabs grow super fast. Just look at some of these big guys behind me. So you want to think about their life in the long run, the future, right? And so you need to think about having 10 gallons of your tank space for each one hermit crab. So basically you would never have fewer than two hermit crabs because we know they're social creatures and they gotta have a buddy to thrive. And therefore you would never have something smaller than a 20 gallon tank. So maybe it's difficult to find a tank size that you're wanting. Um, just some ideas to keep in mind is that Petco and PetSmart both run dollar per gallon sales, so keep an eye out for that. Also Craigslist or Facebook Market is a great place to find used tanks. This one behind, actually almost all of our tanks are used from Facebook Market. So um, you can get a really good deal on a bigger tank, which you'll love in the long run. So I highly suggest going as big as you have the space for. So what you would do if you got a used tank is you would need to clean it. You can use a water vinegar solution and just dilute down your vinegar um, and just clean out your tank super, super good. You would want to do that three or four times with the vinegar water and rinse it really good in between each time and then make sure that you dry it out. Then give it a good smell. If it still smells vinegary, you're going to want to rinse it again. So now that you have your tank sanitized, then you will be ready to start up your crab attack. All right, so the other thing I want you guys to think about is surface area, which maybe doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I'm gonna explain it for you. So the tank behind me, it's 120 gallons. I have a two and a half gallon fresh water tank and I have a two and a half gallon salt water tank for their pools. Now I built a shelf under the pool to raise it up above the substrate. This way the crabs can tunnel and molt in the entire 120 gallons of the tank. So that's something that you really need to think about when you're trying to decide what size tank you want. For example, had I put these water pools on the bottom of the tank, I could not put 12 crabs in my 120 because I just took up almost five gallons of molt space for them. So just keep that in mind. Think about what pools you're gonna have and how you're gonna put them in your tank. Um, and that will help you know what size that you're going to need. Okay, so what we're going to show you right now is how to silicone a shelf so that you can put it in your tank and create more molting space for your hermit crabs. So we have pretty big water pools. You definitely want your hermit crabs to be able to fully submerge in their water pools, both the fresh water and the salt water. So we have a two and a half gallon fish tank that we use for our pools. Now, if I were to sink this into the sub, that would take away quite a bit of molting space um, in my tank. And so what we like to do is raise them above the sub, um, which means we have to have something pretty sturdy to hold the weight of the tank in the water. Um, and so we use these shelves, which you can find them at Walmart. Um, they're stacking shelves and you can find them in the bathroom section by towels and things like that, your organizers for your bathroom. And um, the only problem is they have metal legs on them. And the metal in the tank with the humidity along with the salt water causes them to rust, which is unsafe for your hermit crabs. Plus it will deteriorate the metal over time, um, which means you will need to replace it. So today we are going to silicone the metal on the legs of these shelves before we put it in the tank. Um, behind me. And so you're going to want to use 100% silicone when you do this so that it's safe for your hermit crabs and then let the silicone fully dry before you add it to your tank.
Well guys, I really hope this helps you find the tank size that you want. Please comment down below if you have any questions. We'll get back with you. Like, share, subscribe, follow us on all of our social media accounts, and we'll see you on the next Tap Chat.